Do you know the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam used to keep the prisoners of war in his house or the house of Sahaba alaihi wa sallam or in Masjid al-Nabi Sharif. You know we say this civilized, so-called enlightened and modern world that we have. Even if we suspect in this day and age, if people suspect someone to be a terrorist, we know what happens to them. We know what happens to them in the world, how they are tortured. In this civilized society today, we have talked about the Babylonian society, the Greek society, the, the Roman civilization. We've talked about the Egyptian civilization. Them civilizations at that time, how evil they were, what they claimed that there has been a big transformation in our time. You know, our life has been transmogrified now. We are different people. We were different people then. Look at what they do to the prisoners of war today. We all know that prisoners of war are tortured everywhere in the world. But what the Prophet ﷺ gave to the prisoners of war at that time, listen to the words of Rasulullah ﷺ. After the Battle of Badr, there was a man, a prisoner that the Prophet ﷺ saw. His name was Al Abbas. He didn't have a shirt. He wasn't wearing a shirt. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam looked at him, looked at the state that he was in, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam looked around for a shirt that fits him. What happened? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw Abdullah bin Ubay, and his shirt was the right size for Al Abbas. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked Abdullah bin Ubay, "You give your shirt to him." And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam took off his own shirt and gave his shirt to Abdullah bin Ubay. Prisoner of war. Sahaba used to keep them in their own houses. And what was their punishment? The only punishment they would give to the prisoners of war, they would tie them up with a rope. And for every namaz time, they would go to them and they would smile. Why? Prisoners of war. Just raising their hands, smile at them and go, you need anything? They would give them time to do ghusl in their own houses. Can you believe that brothers? This is rahmatul lil alameen. Does that happen anywhere in today's society? Anywhere in the world? Prisoners of war hated the most. And then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would keep the families together. Today in the world, in the prisons, if you are a family, you will be separated straight away. The first thing they would do is separate family members. If you know someone, you will be separated. You will not be able to live together in the prisons. And what did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's hadith about prisoners of war. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The one who separates his mother from her child." will be separated from his loved ones on the day of judgment this is the teaching of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam